Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today you and I are going to have a little conversation, at least for the first half. So a different type of video today, although the second half is going to be the, the typical Jenks gameplay video that you would see on my channel. But this is something that I wanted to make because I find it interesting, and I think you guys would too. And it's something that nobody is really talking about. Now, if you've noticed the last few videos, I've been bouncing back and forth. I've been playing on PlayStation 4, I've been playing on PC. Now, I mainly play on PS4, but... Many of my friends have made the switch to PC, and I can't play with them on PlayStation 4, obviously. So I've been bouncing back and forth, I've been playing a little bit on PC, I've been playing a little bit on PS4, kinda bouncing back and forth trying to play with everybody, right? And I also want to play with my Xbox friends, right? Like I got friends over on Xbox that I want to play with. And luckily, they announced cross-platform. Cross-platform is coming out, and we're gonna be able to play with everybody, which is amazing. Not only that, but it's coming out on the Nintendo Switch, Steam, and Origin. So it's gonna be on every single platform. Not to mention, who knows what's gonna happen with the PlayStation 5, right? Like, we have the PlayStation 5 coming out and the new Xbox coming out. Who knows what that's gonna be like? So I, I find it interesting to talk about how cross-platform is going to affect the game. Because it's not just gonna affect the game in the sense that you're gonna be able to play with everybody, right? Now, if you play on PC, you have custom servers. You can have custom games on PC. When cross-platform comes out, that kind of gives me the notion that maybe we could have cross-platform enabled and play on custom lobbies on console. And that means if we can play on custom lobbies on console, does that mean we can play competitively? Does that mean you could have a PlayStation 4 and, and compete in the ALGS? It just brings so many questions because so many different doors could open. The second you start talking about cross-platform, it's not just a matter of, oh, we can play with Xbox people from PlayStation 4, right? Or PC players from Xbox, whatever it is, right? It, it, it opens so many more doors because PC lobbies get custom servers. They can have custom lobbies all to themselves, right? Like that's how scrims are done. That's how tournaments are played. That's how the ALGS is played. Does that mean if we're playing on console, we can potentially play in these custom lobbies? And if so, does that mean we could compete? Because here's the thing, man, there are so many talented people on console there there's no way to say there isn't like there's so many talents some of the best players in the world come from console you know you got guys like deltouche and johnny that have made the switch they don't play competitively but they most definitely could right now they come from playstation 4 and if they've proved that they could compete how many others out there in the world can prove that they can compete right like the number is countless there's so many people out there that could definitely do it and even even and when you think about the numbers too like think about it like this there's way more people that play apex legends on a console than they do on pc like i've been playing on pc for the last few days and the queue times are outrageously high way higher like on console it's damn near instant i can click the triangle button we're getting into a game lickety split right on PC, you're sitting around. There is there is a queue time, and I couldn't imagine being in, in ranked waiting for a Predator lobby or something like that. Like, you could be in queue for Lord knows how long, minutes at a time, probably, I'd assume. So anyways, I got a little rambly there, but the point is, is that the audience is way bigger on console. PlayStation, Xbox, the audience is way bigger. So imagine if there was the possibility for console players to compete in these tournaments, what it would do to the pro scene for Apex Legends. It would change it drastically. It would, it would be completely night and day different, which is interesting to think about because I think that the numbers would go up like crazy. There's no way that they wouldn't, right? If, if you have a big audience coming from console that is now suddenly interested because it's not just filled with mouse and keyboard players well i should add this you can play with a controller on pc which is what i do and there are a lot of pro players that play with a controller on pc guys like nicewig and snipe down who are insanely good they're they're phenomenal players right and it, they have their own audience and it's super fun to watch these guys because they're relatable right Imagine if console players were able to compete and there was even more of them. It would bring a huge audience to the scene and I, I just think it would be healthy for the game as a whole, competitively and casually, you know? The more people watching, the better it is. And it gives so many console guys that are phenomenal at the game the opportunity to prove themselves. I would just love to see it. I really, really would. And not only from a competitive standpoint, but these custom lobbies would affect me too, right? Like as a content creator, imagine me being able to tweet out, Hey guys, I'm doing a custom lobby today and I would love for you guys to join me. Imagine being able for me to be able to tweet that out. 
Wouldn't that be incredible? And then we could just mess around in these custom lobbies, you and I, the viewer, and we could just have some fun. We could do maybe Pathfinder only or whatever, right? Like we could just goof around and have some fun. I think that would be really, really cool because let's say right now, if, if I was able to get a custom code for a lobby, I wouldn't be able to invite many of you guys because I would assume, you know, being the viewer, you guys watch because you're a console player yourself, right? I play on console. So the majority of the audience is definitely on console. That's that's what it is. So if I were hypothetically to get a custom lobby, you, most of you guys wouldn't be able to join unless cross-platform allowed it. If cross-platform allowed it, then you guys would be able to join. And I just think that would be incredible. Again, it opens so many doors that it's just got my brain working in overdrive, you know? I'm, I'm just so excited for the future and what might happen. Now, these are all speculations. I need to I need to make that very very clear these are all speculations and not guarantees for all we know cross-platform will be simply you can connect to other platforms no access to these custom lobbies which I don't know how that would even work because again in my head I feel like if you're if you're on PC and you're in a custom lobby and you have cross-platform enabled you should be able to invite a console guy to your lobby that's just how I'm thinking about it right and I, I just, I'm excited for it. And I hope that's how it works so badly because if it does, it'll change everything. It'll completely change everything. Now, one last thing that has crossed my mind since this whole cross-platform announcement has been uh, the whole cosmetic thing, right? Like I've been playing on PC the last couple days, like I said, and I don't have any of my cosmetics. I don't have any of my skins, my weapon skins, uh, heirlooms, any of that stuff, obviously. I, I don't have my, my badges, my total kills. Like I don't have any of that. I can't transfer any of that, obviously. Uh, with cross-platform being enabled, I wonder if it'll be the same idea as Fortnite and Call of Duty where it's one shared account, right? So you have one account that bounces back and forth between all these platforms. I just think that that would be something that might be implemented. I, again, I don't know, but just basing it off every other game that's out there, right? Like we can just look at Fortnite and Call of Duty as examples. For Fortnite, you make an Epic Games account and that account is across all platforms. Your Call of Duty Warzone account, it's, it's an Activision account that is shared across all platforms. Why wouldn't Apex Legends be the same, right? You have an Origins account that is shared across all platforms. That's just how I think about it. And I'm excited to hopefully see that be a thing i i think it could be i don't know again i need to double down on this these are speculations i'm just talking i i find it an in, i find it to be an interesting conversation to have okay i just have so many thoughts flowing through my head and i'm excited and i, I just i don't know what to think about it so hopefully it all becomes a thing and I'm not just rambling for no reason. Either way, I hope you were entertained at least from the first half of the video. Let's uh, let's end this off with the typical gameplay that you guys are used to watching. We're going to finish it off with an awesome game with Candy. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what your guys' thoughts are on this whole cross-platform thing. And let me know what you think about this type of video too. Because if you guys want to hear me talk, maybe uh, we'll do something like this more often I, I i love doing stuff like this i think this is this is super dope so anyways let me know what you guys think thank you for watching enjoy the rest of the video and i'll see you on the next one he has purple hit him for 48 purple yeah i only get 20 i'm pushing up oh he's head glitching right here Nice. Dude, I, I, I just went right over. I had no idea where he was. Big up to us. That was the last one in the squad. Recharge my shield. Taking shots. Ooh, Ooh good shot, shot Scanny. Need to recharge my shield. Got white armor. So that's another one. Yeah, he's right here. Hostile right here. This is good, dude. Yo, this is the one thing, bro. Listen, this is the one thing right here that messes me up the most about playing on PC is not having my skins. And I just picked really? up a 99. Yeah, it's big for me. I just picked up a 99, and it's got my skin that I use when I'm playing on console. And it made all the difference. I am I just picked it up, and I'm ready to cook. Uh, I need some heavy ammo. I do, too. I've only got five bullets. Yeah, oh, ooh, we really need it. I mean, I'm using light mainly. 
So like I'm good. I can give you my five if you want. No, it's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll keep looking. You sure? Oh yeah, we'll find it. <laughs> Setting a portal. There is a team here. Portal placed. Wraith 116, purple. He's really good. I got the other guy. Nice job. That was big hits on that guy. The Wraith I hit for 116 on purple. Dead. Let's go. Hey. Heavy ammo here. Uh, I think I have enough now. Wingman on him or nah? Are you good? Yeah. Oh, why oh, you like that? He's underneath me. No, you're good. You're good. Hey. Hey. Wing in that box? Uh, nope. Hemlock. <laughs> Never lucky. I'm gonna push. Same. This other team's watching. Nice. Boy, this other team might be coming soon. Okay. Got a vault key. Could be useful. Picking myself up. Are they even here? Oh, behind us. Oh. That guy on the right's really hurt. Yep. I'm going for the right guy. He's running on the other side of these blue bins. He's on flash. I have self res. He's on flash. Oh, gosh, you're good. Nice! Let's go! Hey. Oh, you got a gold bag? Yep. Nice! I, I really like lifeline, dude. I love that they didn't forget to put the gold bag effect on her drone. Yeah. Really lit. I'm here. Ooh, nice shots. Thanks, dude. I'm watching for you in case he uh ten kills. This other team's probably gonna push, I would assume. Yep. I really need heavy man, I got 30 over 58. Here? Appreciate it. If you need it, you know. It's good. Can. Uh, she's really hurt, bro. Ah, uh, she's fucking lit too. I'm gonna wait. Yep. Broke. I'm gonna push. Yep, I'm with you. Nice. Let's go, Candy. Good shots. This guy's got my wingman finally. It only took all game to find one. Do you wanna uh, take that gold armor? I got I got red. Oh yeah. I should grab a couple cells then too. I'm grabbing. Yeah, I'm just, I don't have any bats. I'm just I'll drop cells. you my bats. I'll drop you bats. Here. How, how many you got? I don't want to take them all. Three. I don't need any. I, I, if I got gold, I'll just use cells. Okay. Yeah, I dropped three in there. Punching a tunnel. Oh, I got freaking three phoenixes. I'm out here playing like Lifeline still has fast deal. <laughs> These guys are right in front of me. Rings coming in. Looks like a care package is coming in. Big things in that. I hit one for 90 on this left aisle here, right here. Might be something good this way. He armor saw. Oh, there's a guy over here on me too. Uh oh. I'm gonna phase back to you. I'm gonna phase back. I'm good. Actually, I think we gotta keep pushing this way, Candy. Okay. Because we're gonna get pinched. I'm gonna take this roof. 
I hit him for a hundred. I'm taking shots. Need to recharge my reloading. This guy has 30 HP. I'm gonna push him. Enemy down. Recharging my shields. Healing up. Eyes are open though. This guy's self resing right in front of me. Poor guy. I got a craver. Do you? Nice work. Oh yeah. Let's carry. You want to go for a trick shot or something on this last guy? Uh. I'll let you go for it. You got the craver. Uh oh. I'd be lucky if I could just land a regular shot. Honestly. <laughs> okay. Well, a regular one. You can body shot this guy. I hit him for 150. He's right here for 150. Oh my god. Let's go. <laughs> Jesus. Well played, man. Well played. Nice job. That was a good ending. That got kind of that got kind of hectic. That was fun. That was yeah, a good was ending. Lots of fun. You did you did really good. Dude, you fried that game. I uh, I wasn't no even kill leader, and I think I had a pretty good game. Nice job. Okay. Thanks. Dude, ten and twelve. Holy. Yeah, we, we like, cooked, man. Killed third server. Amazing.